Welcome back guys. Today's video we're going to talk about having the most amazing clover food plot. I don't think I've ever produced a video that talked about really how to maintain that food plot with herbicides and some different things you can do to make it the best it can possibly be. So let's start up. We all know we have I have frost seeding videos. You know we have the general idea of how to plant it right. But let's talk about how we can really really make that food plot amazing clover food plot amazing number one the foundation of any uh food plot you plant starts with the soil you gotta have a soil sample guys don't don't overlook this step it's so annoying when when guys plant food plots it fails and they say well what's wrong they ask for help and then the person they're asking says well what's your soil sample say and they tell you i don't know i didn't get one we can't help you so start with a soil sample you have to have that that's the foundation to any food plot program we have our food plot growing, it's up and running. What do we do with it? Soil sample it each year. Add your appropriate lime and granular fertilizer to that food plot. Add your lime at any time. You can add that in the off season. Get that, get that lime on that clover to help fix the pH. Your soil sample is gonna tell you exactly what to do. At spring green up, when that clover is coming out of dormancy, hit it with your granular fertilizer that your soil sample recommends to you. Just hit it. Uh, on there and it's going to help out the issue the limit there's limitations with everything but the limitations with granular fertilizer is that your ph needs to be proper it needs to be adequate neutral in a neutral zone to where your soil or basically your plants can ab absorb that granular fertilizer it has to decompose and dissolve into your soil and then your plants can uptake it there's limitations with that you have runoff low ph and any type of nutrients really in that soil that's off balance everything else kind of locks up so you have to be you have to realize that just because you're adding the proper granular fertilizer to that food pot doesn't mean 100% of that 100% of that is going to be uh, absorbed by your plants just realize that now once that food pot is up and running there's liquid fertilizers and micronutrients that you can apply I've used several over the years we're currently using Domain uh, Liquid Courage. We have used this for the past year now. I think it has great results on it. Um, we're gonna be doing tissue samples with it, but everything that I have sprayed has been uh, super nutritious to the wildlife. So Liquid Courage is what we're using now. Great results with it. We're gonna be spraying more of that this year and seeing how that does. Um, now, as far as we control and things on, on Clover now, if you plant your food plot in the springtime, obviously you're going to have uh, weed issues, grass issues with that. It can be obtainable. It can be done. I've done it many times. Just realize if you plant in the spring, you're going to have weed issues. Now, simple ways to control that is with a product name called Imox. Imox, you can spray on clover, chicory, and alfalfa. It will not harm it. It will not kill it. You'll only kill your grasses and your weeds. Now. Imox is built all built into one, so it, like I said, it'll control your grasses and your broadleaf weeds. Seven to nine ounces uh, per acre. Mix that into your sprayer, ATV sprayer, whatever you have. Spray that on there, wait a couple weeks, mow it off, and you'll usually be pretty good uh, with your weeds. Now, from there on out, you can probably just mow and you'll control the situation in that. Now, if guys want to use uh, separate herbicides such, such, such as uh, clethodin and 2,4-DB, if you're using 2,4-D, make sure it's 2,4-DB. You can mix those together. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the mix ratios on them, so you'll have to read the label. Imox is what I use, that's what I'm familiar with. Seven to nine ounces per acre mixed into your sprayer. Controls the weeds and grasses very well. If you plant in the uh, fall time, you can mix your clover into some brassicas. The following spring, you can establish a clover food pot that way. Now, just because the bag of clover that you're using says that it can produce up to 30% protein, realize that doesn't happen unless you have adequate uh, soil health to really give those nutrients to the clover for that to reach the potential of being 30% protein. So. Just because the bag says it doesn't mean that's what it is if you have low quality ph um, we're using domain uh, comeback kid and hot chick it's a very good blend of uh clovers and alfalfa been planting that for about four years now have a lot of videos on on my channel about that but another good tip with mowing 
to control weeds is wait till those clovers have seeded out. We get the white flowers on them and stuff. Wait till that happens and then mow it because then you're spreading the seed for that clover to reproduce. That's nature's way of reseeding itself. Uh, you can do that as well. Also take note that clover does not produce nitrogen until it creates nodules on the root systems. A lot of guys will say, you know, they'll post on Facebook or something and say, hey, I'm planting clover, but I'm scared to add or I'm adding nitrogen and guys will come in the comments and say, you're an idiot, you're dumb, clover produces its own nitrogen, why are you adding nitrogen at planting? Well, guess what? Clover doesn't produce its own nitrogen. It has to produce nodules first. For those nodules to take place, it has to be established and for that in order to take place months on end for that clover to actually produce its own nitrogen. How does those nodules release nitrogen? By mowing. You know, stimulating that clover by mowing or browse pressure from deer stimulates those nodules to release its own nitrogen. Just doesn't happen from a bare seed, guys. So adding a little bit of nitrogen, same with soybeans, adding a little bit of nitrogen at planting is always beneficial, kind of like a starter fertilizer. So realize that it takes time for that clover to produce its own nitrogen. Doesn't happen from a bare seed. So a little bit of nitrogen at planting is okay. So we have the melon covered liquid fertilizer. You can start getting into soil conditioners. Um, Domain has one called Dirty Deeds. It's a soil conditioner, humic based. Um, we used that last year, seemed to work very well. So I'll be doing more of that this year as well in 2024. So again, all these things can be added to your clover plot. You know, the soil conditioners, the liquid fertilizer, you know, having uh, mowing, keeping it properly mowed. If you're in an area where the deer are browsing it heavy, heavily, you may not need to mow. You know, you got your Imox herbicide, seven to nine ounces per acre. Okay, mix that in, spray, wait 10, 14, 15 days or so, mow it down, you'll be good to go. So any more questions, guys, about clover, leave them down below. I would, uh, I'll help you guys out Have the and have the best clover food pot you possibly can. And if you guys need more information about clover, give that video a watch right there. It's going to help you out and subscribe to our channel. It's greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys on that next video.